Hi, I'd like to show you 360 limiter. We added the limiter to the 360 pan suite because you need your 360 VR ambisonics mixes to be loud enough on YouTube. Reducing the peaks in your mix allows you to turn up its volume. Here it is. It is a look ahead limiter specifically for ambisonics audio so everything will stay in the right spots in your mix. It has an automatic adaptive release time and a section that displays loudness units. In this case my mix is almost done. It's a very simple mix, a 360 VR outdoor cooking video we made. Audio was recorded using an ambisonics microphone that sits in this furry wind protection here and a lavalier microphone that I'm carrying around on the label of my coat. And as I'm walking away from the ambisonics microphone, my voice becomes too soft. So then I add some of the lavalier microphone right here. And obviously the lavalier should be panned right onto me, for which a 360 panner is used. But now for the limiter. My ambisonics mix right now peaks at 0 dB, so I cannot go any louder without clipping. Minus 20 on the A loves meter here is where Google Spotlight stories are mixed. And that's their own 360 VR content on YouTube, so it's the level I'm aiming for. Let's play. Hi, I'm Arjen and this is Jere. Hey. Welcome to the 360 Pan Suite version 2 Audio Ease Winter Bob Lunch. So As you can see, I'm nowhere near minus 20. I'm at minus 33 A loves. The slider in the input meter is called threshold, and because this is a brick wall limiter, everything above it will be limited down. And if I keep the ceiling control in the out meter here in its place, then pulling the threshold will make the output louder. In the center here is the gain reduction meter itself. Hi, I'm Arjen and this is Jere. Hey. Welcome to the 360 Pan Suite version 2 Audio Ease Winter Bob Lunch. So as you can see my walk is really hot. And now I can see that I'm not only making it to minus 20 alephs, I can also see that the gain reduction has peaked at 8 decibel. The release time of the compressor changes continuously and automatically depending on the audio material of the input. I will now just go through a couple more recordings to limit some of their peaks. Double click on any of these peak values to reset them.
I'm using the link control right here to operate threshold and ceiling simultaneously. Well, that's it. 360 limiter. Bye.